everybody, it's Abby. I'm back for your workout of the day. I got my Energize, my Circulate mixed up here. I also took my Adapt, um, so I'm ready to rock. I've already been through my Dynamic Flexibility routine, um, so I hope you guys are getting that in. Um, if you only have 20, 30 minutes a day to dedicate to a training program, I would always default to that. So that video is um, posted in this feed. I truly believe flexibility is the fountain of youth. Um, most clients are always saying, I just don't have time to train flexibility make the time um, it will always pay you the best returns okay so i always like to start with that just as a reminder for you guys so today's workout um is going to be we've already done this one before i believe but we're going to go 40 seconds work 20 seconds rest but we've modified the exercises that are in it okay so we got four exercises the first one is called a goblet squat and i'm going to be using my um water jug if you have dumbbells at home that's fine too so I'm just gonna hold it right here. Um, feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider. First motion, guys, hips go back so I can wiggle my toes in the deepest part of my squat. Okay, I'm driving out of my heels. And then as I come up, I'm gonna go to a full press. Belly button is still sucked in, okay? So it's full squat, full press, 20 seconds work, okay? Now remember, we can all do the same exercises, but our training tempos can be different. So if you have been training hard and your intensities are up, you can just do more reps per round than somebody else can do, okay? Now listen, if you're a beginner, you need to slow your tempo down and really focus on form. Um, once you get tired, your training tempo should continue to slow just so that you can uh, make sure that you're training safely, okay? Always, always, always focus on form, okay? So that's a goblet squat to a press. Make sure your weight's in your heels. Belly button is always activated and drawn in, okay? 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Then I'm doing, um, straight into a tricep dip. I'm gonna use my ottoman here, but if you have a kitchen chair, that's gonna be fine, or a bench, that'll work too. Okay, so on this one, I'm just gonna put my hands um, over the, the edge, and then I'm gonna walk it out, okay? Elbows need to track neutral, so I'm just gonna keep them tracking straight back, drive into full extension, belly button is tight, okay? Straight back, full extension. If that's too hard for you, you can flatten your feet, and that's gonna lessen how much of a load you have on your triceps and you can use your heels to help you out of that position if you need it, okay? So that's kind of the regression of it. Um, 40 seconds of triceps, 20 seconds of rest, okay? The next one we're doing is a squat thrust with a push-up, okay? Some people refer to it as a burpee. Um, I like it to be a little bit more guided than a burpee. So here's what that looks like, okay guys? So you're gonna go, feet go, or hands go flat, stick your plank, okay, full push, Hand, or feet come up to a full stance, okay? So basically you're just adding a push up to a squat thrust, okay? Now listen, if you are not, if you do not have a full range push up, I want you to go modified, okay? So I really care about the depth of your push up, okay? Elbows should be tracking back at a 45 degree angle, core should always be tight, okay? Here's what the modified version looks like. I'm gonna go hands go flat, take the feet back, knees go down, full press, Back to plank, feet come up, full stance, open up the hips, belly button is still in, okay? Maybe in those 40 seconds you start doing a regular squat thrust with a full push up, 20 seconds in you get tired, you go to modify, drop the knees. Does that make sense? Okay, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Okay, last one we're doing is a, I call it a suitcase crunch. So I'm starting in full extension, I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna take my hands over both knees and then back to full extension over both knees, back to full extension. Okay, if that is too um, hard for you, that's okay. What I want you to take it down to is just that single leg slide, okay? So a single leg slide, draw that belly button down, take one leg out, and then take the opposite. You want this to be a slow exercise. You do not wanna get into this bicycle motion, okay? Because that actually makes it easier and lessens the resistance on the core, okay? So remember, you're drawing that belly button down towards the floor as tight as you can, activating that core, okay? So 40 seconds there, then 20 seconds rest. Um, you can have a minute rest between rounds. Um, so we're gonna shoot for four or five rounds today. So let me know in the comments how many you get in, how are you feeling, what questions you have, uh, be nutritionally accountable, okay? If 80 plus percent of our results are what we're eating and what we're taking in, um, we've really gotta pay attention to that where training programs can get frustrating, right? So let me know what questions you have there too. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you soon.